Hi, I'm Chris Clark, Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis. We're the presenters of the 20th annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase. Hard to believe it's been 20 years we've been presenting all these fine films made by um, people with strong St. Louis connections. Um, back again with Rahul Manan um, to talk about a film uh, made last year called The Final Act. Uh, Rahul is just now graduated from SAUE, um, but this was not a student project or an assignment or anything. He just wanted to make this film. Um, so tell us about, you know, what inspired you to make this story kind of just for fun. And some of the, you talked about some of the challenges you had in putting it all together. And Yeah. So, I mean, I had this idea for a premise, like almost like sometime last August or something where I wanted to have this uh, what willing kind of like a last performance of an actor but i wanted to be bigger than that I didn't, I didn't want it to be like a plain simple performance where you see an actor just performing his last show or anything and just go i wanted to be like a have a deeper meaning so i had this one or one i wrote this one page of premise and i show like gave it to few people who i really like i knew that i would get good feedback from them one of my one of them was my professor so i gave it to like three four people around and then i got really good feedback from them and then i used those feedback and wrote this piece which talks about life and death uh, you know this passion that actors are like anybody creative might have where you have where you put so much into your art and you put so much of yourself into the the, the project that you're doing that you sometimes end up missing out on your family and the people who actually also matter a lot you know in your life yeah it was a moving yeah. story of loss and legacy yeah. and, and family um <clears throat> You know, lots of local films are about, you know, shootings and gangsters and zombies and stuff. So this is a you know, refreshing take. Um, but before we started, you told me about a couple of, you know, real life physical challenges you had with uh, some sound issues. And then uh, the, the quarantine started and your your stuff was stored somewhere else and you were trying yeah. to work on it. So talk about, you know, how did you, how, about working through those struggles to get it all done. Yeah, so uh, one of the main locations where this whole thing happens is like a makeup alley. And I fell in love with this place for the moment I saw it. I knew that I wanted the shot to take place in this particular makeup alley. So the, the issue that we didn't know when we were shooting was it has an air-conditioned sound which switches on and off. But not the uh, none of us figured it out when shoot when we were shooting it, actually. The uh, audio, guide, audio guide couldn't hear it properly. So when we shot it, when we went back to the lab and we were listening to the audio of the whole thing we, we found that there is like this big disturbance happening in, at certain intervals and even with the room tone we couldn't figure out how to how to handle it now so we almost spent like one one and a half months just trying to replace it we re-recorded it but we couldn't get the same kind of feel from the actors so we tried we, we you know did a lot of workshop kind of like i didn't i didn't have any kind of background in audio so i was trying it out myself just try, trying to figure it out with the with my audio guy jonathan johnson who helped me a lot in this one we finally, I think we spent almost around two months just figuring out the audio. And then we finally, I, I'm quite happy with it, but there are certain places which still make me like, ah, oh, I could have just, if I could just have some more time, maybe I could have figured out something else for that. Yeah. Films are, films are never finished. They're abandoned. Yeah. It's, exactly. It's the same. Yeah. It goes. Well, that's a lot of uh, struggle, a lot of passion to make this story. So, you know, just from chatting you with a little bit today, I, I love your spirit. Oh, thanks. I hope we see more films from you uh, going forward. Um, I can see just the tops of the letters of part of your shirt. I think that says written and directed. Yes, that's what I thought. So good for you. So I, I, know, you, I know you love film and I know you love filmmaking uh, just from seeing that shirt and hearing you talk and big smile on your face, just thinking about it all. So yeah. um, thanks for uh, submitting your films to the showcase. I'm glad we were able to, to partner you. with you this year and I hope you have a great experience this summer.